Good morning, good morning, Crafty Chicks. This is Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. It's early, <laughs> but maybe if you're catching the replay, it's not so early. But here for this live, it is early. It's 6.45 a.m. I don't normally go live this early, but I thought, hey, craft around the clock, needed a crafter at this time. So I signed up to do this time for that group. If you're not a member of Craft Around the Clock, I don't know why. I mean, it's it's really an awesome group. It's free. Tracy Campbell set it up. Um, a bunch of crafters, artists, creatives have signed up to broadcast on our pages, and she shares it in the group, Craft Around the Clock. It's free for you to join the group, and you get um, lots and lots of unique, fun, creative um, ideas from lots of different creators. So today what I want to show you Okay, so the other day we did some paper tags and these were I wanted to do the paper tags because I wanted to play with Tim Holtz's little people um, I did this as a guest on Chris Hunter's page um, create creating with Chris Hunter. So go over to her page and check it out But these were the crafts we are the tags that we created the other day and on one of them I used some stenciling. So if you look here around this little girl I used some stenciling and I used some um, an ink pad with a stencil to create a little bit of a background that was really interesting. So I'm going to show you, we're going to take this one step further. I'm going to show you how you can do this with some texture medium. So good morning and welcome. I hope you're ready to create and craft. Um, and if you're not, grab your favorite drink, hot tea, coffee, juice, whatever it is that you like in the morning. I know some people like their Diet Coke or Pepsi. Grab it and hang out with us for a little while. Say hello in the comments. Whether you're here live, catching the replay, I'd love to say hello back and to greet you here. And if you're new, um, <clears throat> I'd ask all the crafty chicks who are repeat crafty chicks to make sure you offer a really warm welcome to anybody that um, claims or chimes in and says that they're new because we want to make sure that you know how welcome you are here. All right, let's see. I want to just grab this feed so I can see any comments as they come in. Um, so I'm on my iPad over here in the corner. There's Penny. I see Penny saying good morning. And there's Ann, Tex BFF. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, Marsha. Tex BFF. What that means is these are the gals who are on my text alert system. The number is up above my head, but it's also in, um, my free group called the Crafty Chicks Club. You'll find that number in the announcements. It's pinned right to the top of the page. So if you want to join the, 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 um, Text alert system. Now, I did not alert these ladies this morning because it's just too early. Um, I'm in Central Time Zone, and I know we have people from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast, and for some, it's just too early. It's just too early. So I texted them last night and said, if you want to join me, if you're up that early, set the alarm. Thank you for all the hearts, you guys. Thank you, thank you. And good morning. So let me see. Jane is here. Good morning, Jane. And there's Lori. Thank you, Lori, for all those cute little sunflower emojis. Hey, Debbie and Janet. Thank you for spreading the love. Yeah, let's see if we can get 30 shares. If you guys can help me out, that would be super helpful. It helps to just spread the creative joy to others and helps to introduce me and my page to other people. So thank you for that. Who else is here? Tracy Stippling is here. Good morning, early bird. You crafty chicks are so early. There's Vicki. Vicki said, I'll be there. I'm up early. Early to bed, early to rise. That's right, Vicki. All right, so let's do it. So I'm going to be using this matte gel medium to create a texture on a tag. And then I'm going to show you some other things that I created texture with, with the matte gel medium, a stencil, and you can use, you can use texture mediums on paper. And these are paper tags that I sell on my website. Um, the comfy nest with grace.com if you like to work in paper with paper on paper projects you may enjoy this size because it's just really manageable and small um when we look at a blank page it's sometimes overwhelming when you look at a blank canvas or a blank page and you're wondering what do i put on there for some reason when it's small it's not so intimidating anyway not for me so if you agree with that let me hear about it in the comments i would love to know how you feel about how, how do you break a blank page and do you get stumped by that sometimes. Um, I'm gonna add some names to the Happy Mail bin. The Happy Mail bin, um, when I go live, when we hit levels of viewership, 25, 50, in increments of 25, I go through the comments and I randomly select some folks who have commented 
who have said hello, who have told me about their weather, whatever you want to comment. Um, those who say hey in the comments and let me know that they're here, I'm going to pull some names randomly from those comments um, with each level of viewership. And we have 25 people, so I'm going to grab one name from the comments and the, I scroll through and I just, the first name that I see after the scroll stops, kind of like, um, you know, those little, those little tables at the when you're at the um, casino. So I scroll and then where it stops, it is Jane Stewart Gurr. Good morning, Jane. Your name is going on in the prize basket. So what happens is a couple of times a month, I pull names from the prize basket to send those folks happy mail. And your name, Jane, is going in that basket. It's two R's on the end of your name. Your name is going in the prize basket. So get into the Crafty Chicks Club. That's my free craft community. What's today? August 17th already. Um, that's my free craft community because that's where I announce the winners and the people's names who have gotten prize baskets. It's kind of a fun little thing. Replay watchers, I also pull from the replay watchers. So make sure you comment replay to let me know that you're here. Good morning, Elizabeth in Massachusetts. I can't believe you're up and it's this early. Me either. I'm always up this early. I have to say, so I am always up this early. I'm just not usually ready. I'm usually not dressed this early and ready, but I got the makeup on. I got it all going on right now. Tracy says, I was up at 5.30 to get ready to come to my daughter's to watch my grandkids. Ooh, grandbaby day. Denise told me she gets to hold her baby, grandbaby today, too. Yay. You grandmas who help. It's such a blessing. Good morning, Dee. And who else is here? Therese is here. And Jerain is here. Good morning, Vicky. Oh, Vicky says smoke again. Oh, no. I was praying this morning for all of those in the fire path, all of those, the first responders, those who are fighting it. So much, so much to pray for. Hi, Ann. Good morning. She's checking email and watching. All right. Well, let me show you. I want to say good morning to everybody, but they're going by quick. Thank you, Miss D, for some stars. Good morning, Ann. All right. Let's do it. I'm going to use it. There are lots and lots of texture mediums. I happen to like this one. It dries clear. It's a gel. It's thick. Like it almost looks like it looks like cream cheese, but it's not that thick. Um, it's really soft. I'll show you. It's really soft to work with. I'm going to put these aside so we can add more names to the prize basket. But I'm going to use one of the tags that you can buy these on my website. We're going to use this. I love working with paper tags. We're going to use this little stencil that I got from Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. It's a Tim Holtz set of um, stencils. And I'm going to lay the stencil down, and I want to randomly place some texture. Now, normally when I create with tags, there's stuff that goes in the middle, right? We're going to put some little scene in the middle. So I want this texture to show on the outside, kind of like a frame around whatever we do in the middle. So I'm going to take some of this texture medium with a little palette knife, and you'll see how thick it is. That's what it looks like when it comes out of the jar. And I don't need that quite that much. So let's put a little bit back. And then I'm going to spread it. I'm going to spread it right through the... Um, stencil now I don't want I don't want to see these square lines I don't want to see any lines I want it to look really randomly placed so I'm gonna place this kind of in the middle and I'm gonna focus on not touching this line on the stencil so that I'm gonna get texture I'm gonna go right over the hole too, the little tag holder the, the, the um, hole that's been pre put on there so that we can put a, a piece of ribbon or something on it and I'm just going to randomly rub this on here, kind of like a frame in this upper left corner. And then we'll go do this on the lower right. Okay. I just spread it through there. And then you can see I'm scraping so that we get that beautiful design on there. And then I pull it up. So let me show you what that looks like. Looks like that. <gasps> Look at how thick and juicy. Just, it's just beautiful. Look at how thick and beautiful that is. Right? So that's going to dry clear. I'm going to do it on the other side. Now, I got some I got some texture medium here on this mat. So I'm just going to scrape that because I can use that. We're going to take it same thing. We're going to go in the lower left right corner just so that it's kind of symmetrical. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. You can do it however you want. But let's grab it um and actually I'm going to want to go up a little bit on the the lower right corner and then I want to go up the side. So I'm going to move this so that I get more space to texture to put this pretty design on. You can use whatever stencil you want, of course. Avoiding that straight line. I don't want the straight line. I just want a randomly placed frame 
to create texture. Okay, so this, I just wash it with water. I'm gonna put it in my little bucket of water for now. Same thing with this, just wash it with water. I will take any of the excess there. We don't wanna throw that out. I'm gonna put it back in the jar. We're done with that for now. I'm gonna show this to you really close up and then we're gonna create with some that I did some last night so that they were ready to go. Um, but this is what it looks like when it's all textured up. And then if you can envision, this is the background. Um, we're gonna paint on here, add color to this. Um, there are ways you can add color. I'm gonna make sure I smooth out the edges. You don't have to, but if you want your edges to be nice and smooth, go ahead and give them a swipe. And then this is what you get. And it adds a beautiful texture. I'm gonna put this aside to dry. I did this last night on some tags. So let me clean up my mat and I'm gonna show you it dries clear, so you won't even see it on your tag. I have three tags going here that I've already put texture on, and I've chosen my embellishments for these tags, just because, for the sake of time, just so we're ready. I've got three different sets of um, tags. Here, I'll show you up here. And three embellishments that are possible that we could use on these. So let me put these aside and show you how the texture looks. So. This is a very plain tag that I did nothing with. It's just the tag itself with that texture medium on it. And see how it's still there, but it dries transparent. Ooh, <laughs> pretty um, texture fun right there. <clears throat> very pretty. Thank you, Elizabeth. I think so too. Yes, I can show the stencil medium again. There are all kinds of texture mediums. This just happens to be one that I had on hand that I like <clears throat> by Liquitex. And if you read the back of them, they give you a guide that tells you how thick it is, how it dries, like does it dry transparent or opaque, um, and how it can be used. So Liquitex is a great brand because it gives you all of that help on the back if you're ever wondering. I know, ooh, Christy says, ooh. Sandra, have a great day at work. So there, Janet, there it is. Okay, so that one is on a plane. That one's on the plane. Didn't do anything to it. This one I put on a, um, a tag that I painted white. I painted it white first, and then I put the texture medium on it. Okay, and then this one was plain, but I distressed it with some distress ink, and then I put the texture medium on it. Okay, so and these are all dry. So it's a raised up, dry, it's kind of like, it, it's kind of, um, it's crusty, like it's not breaking off. It won't break off, it doesn't go anywhere, but it's raised up and it's hard. Like you can feel it on there, the texture, which I love, I just think it's beautiful. Now we can start playing with them and, and add some color. So there are lots of ways you can add color and I thought it would be fun to do a couple of different things. So these, I've been playing with these inside the Craft Therapy Club to showcase how to use these. These are one of my new favorite <laughs> supplies to use. They're called Ink Tense Pencils. They're like a watercolor pencil, but they are not the same because <clears throat> once they dry, they stay permanent. Watercolor pencils don't do that. <clears throat> I am going to grab, so let me see, I gotta look at my embellishments because these are going to go on top. Let's work with some, maybe some green on this one. I'm going to grab a green pencil and I'm just going to try to add some color. Now these pencils, you put them on dry. I'm just gonna put on some color here. And then I'm gonna try to get that to move inside and around that stencil. So I want color that is fluid, color that can move. I have another one that I'm gonna show you, just a different technique on how to move this. So I, I just penciled in some color. I'm just doing a little bit at first because I've never, I actually haven't used these with texture on tags before. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water on my paintbrush and I'm gonna move this around. What I want it to do is to drip. The other way that you can add the water is to get your spray bottle of water and just spray it. Your tag will recover. But if I do this, you can see it wets. Um, I don't wanna get like water everywhere. Hold on. Towel needed because we got water. It wets it and then it will start to drip all over the place, which I really like that messy look. So the more color you add, the more drippies you're gonna get. So I'm gonna come in and put a whole lot of color in here and then wet it. And then I wanna move that around. I wanna move it around and I want that color to sit inside the stencil. See that? So it's gonna give you like that color that you want in the background that's gonna match my embellishment. I picked out this 
really pretty rose with some green um, greenery around it, the leaves and the stems. So that, I'm gonna grab another green and let's play with this. I'm just gonna add color, wet it, and move it around until we get the result. Now, with these pencils, the other thing that you can do is you can take your paintbrush with water and you can add the color to your paintbrush and then come in and move it around on your project. So, oh, to me, this is so fun, you guys, because you get to play. You get to just play with your stuff. And I love tags for this reason because it's little, it's not hugely committal. Like, if you end up not loving it, it's okay because we're exploring and discovering how to use these products together and um, different ways to add color to your projects. Now I've got two different greens going in here because I wasn't sure quite which one I liked more. But I'm gonna come in and add some water and then move that color around and soften it up. I'm just looking for some color on my background. Nothing, I'm not looking for a pattern here. I just want color and I love these pencils because they work like a watercolor pencil where when you wet the color that you put on your project it'll move around for you but then when it dries it dries completely permanent so I can come back over it with more or different colors either in the pencils or in another medium we can come back over it and add more color ooh ooh, ooh. and the the raised up um, stencil just use my finger and move that around the raised up stencil really gives it such a pretty look on those corners so I have a lot of wetness here, so I'm just gonna come in with my towel and dab some of it off so I can show you how that played with the tag. Now, it's not a ton of color, it's just really, really, see, look at that texture in there. It's really subtle and soft and watercolor looking. And when it dries, that will dry permanent. So if you like the color just like that, you can leave it really subtle. If you wanna come in and add more color, you can come in and add more color. Let's make it a little darker in here and get this to come down. See that, I added some darkness in that corner. And then if I want it to run down, I just wet it and it'll just drip right down. The more color you add, the more color will drip down. They're really easy and fun to play with. Let's see, added lots, and then we'll wet it and it drips down. I love that look. I love, I love that look. And then if it starts to drip too much, you can just use your little rag and wipe away some. I'm gonna do that in both corners so that I have a dark marking where the stencil is not. I have stenciled here, stenciled here. Let's get some dark marking, marking in the corners that are opposite. Add the color, spray it to activate it let it drip let it do its thing and that is more bold see I love that I just think it's so pretty I love playing with products and I, I, I love to encourage you guys to do the same we're gonna leave this one alone and let it dry I've got this one here very plain background now you don't have to use pencils if you don't have these pencils not a big deal let's grab some paint Let's grab this, this, well, let me go a little bit more brown. Let me grab a brown paint. This one's kind of a creamy. I'm trying to match, this is what I wanted to use on this tag. And so I'm trying to find a paint that will kind of match that. So let's see. I want a little bit darker paint. So I'm just gonna use a plain acrylic paint. So today, we're just playing to show you how you can create some backgrounds for any project. You can do this on almost anything. If you know what to put on your surface, so you could do this on a wood surface, you could do this on a canvas surface, you could do this on paper. As you can see, the paper can handle the moisture. It will dry, um, and then you'll have this beautiful background for whatever project you want. Now, this is plain acrylic paint, and I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna paint over and again, not in any like real, I'm using the same paintbrush guys, I'm adding a little bit of water to it. And I'm gonna paint over this to show you how the paint can even be used to add color. I want it to be brown and mucky because I have a really pretty tag with a brown frame on it. Your tags can handle the water. It really can. Um, and then you just gotta give it a little time to dry or use your, your your tool to dry it. 
Okay, so I'm really going for mucked up here. And I wanna show you how it makes this um, stenciling pop. Now, I'm gonna pull back a little bit of color and I want it to look like really mucked up. And remember, so I've got this brown background going and I'm, this is gonna go in front of it. So I know like you look at it and you go, ooh, <laughs> that just looks like a brown muddy mess. But when you're gonna put all your things on top of it, it's just the background. It's not the whole show, it's just the background. But I want you to see how the color, I'm gonna hold this up really close. I want you to see how that color sits around. It sits around that stencil. Um, you can use paints. I prefer to use the watercolor brushes or I have some crayons here I'll show you in a second. Let's do it on this one. I have some crayons that you can use. So this one has, this is the one that I distressed first and then did the stenciling on it. Hello, Tex VFF. Good morning, Angelica. Good morning, good morning. Let's see what other comments. Hey, Denise, do you have that grandbaby yet? Are you snuggling? Um, Phyllis, drink compound would be really heavy. Uh, that would be my fear with joint compound. Uh, we've used it on canvases before. When we did the um, the old country church in the craft therapy club, we used a caulking material actually on canvas. But anything like that is going to be really heavy. So when if if you want to work on paper, oh, that would still wet. If you want to work on paper, I would suggest finding an art medium because they're made for being used on many different. Um, surfaces right uh so but experiment i i uh, you know me i love to experiment i love to try different things um i love like grabbing different types of uh, you know products that you can use in in your in your art i, I really do these are called stabilo pencils it's just a different kind of crayon on this one i'm going to use this brown butterfly that's what i want to go on here eventually so let's add some color i already have the distressing but then I have this, this middle section that is the texture. It's already dry. I'm going to add some color to it, and I want it to be super, well, we could go really subtle, or we could add a whole nother color. Let's add some, maybe some purple. I'm going to grab a purple crayon this time. This is a different kind of crayon. And let's come in. They work similar to, they're more waxy, but they work similar to the pencil I showed you, where you put the color on, and then you add some moisture and you move that color around. So I'm gonna add purple, just why not, just because. So you could, this one you can blend with your finger, you guys. So if you wanted to create a really nice dark purple frame here, you can take that moisture and spread it with your finger or a pencil or a sponge, whatever you have on hand. But it's really, um, these pencils are really dark. They're called woodies, and they're kind of like a waxy crayon slash pencil. And what I'm doing is I'm, I added the color dry, added some moisture, and I'm moving it around over the stencil part, okay? And I'm kind of creating a frame with this purple. I don't know why purple. I just grabbed it because I thought maybe it would be pretty with that butterfly. So I'm moving that color around. These kind of remind me of... um. What are those pencils called that you buy? They're waxy pencils. I have some down here. I just don't remember the name of them. They kind of remind me of these. Faber-Castell's Gelatos. They kind of, but these move around a lot better than Gelatos. <laughs> I use these more often because they move around better. Ooh, looky, looky, looky. I'm going to show you in a second here. I'm just adding the color on the outside of the stenciling and then dipping my finger in the water and moving that color around. And I want to show you, you can also, I just didn't want to move it too much. The more water you spread on these colors, the more they're going to move. Okay, I'm going to add some frame here. These are really fun. If you like to work with, like, if you like finger painting or like working with your fingers, these can be really fun to play with. All right. So what we're doing is we're creating some backgrounds today for paper projects. And we, we just decided we'll do it on these tags because they're small and they're easy to use. So I added that on top of the distressing and you can see how it's sitting inside. This is gonna get covered a little bit with a butterfly <laughs> like this. So this doesn't even have to be perfect. I'm just looking for some visual interest, some 3D dimension, and it's just so fun. It's just so fun to play with these things. Actually, 
this, the butterfly could go up here and then down here I have these little phrases, like these word um, quotes that I'm gonna stick on here. So I want a little more color in this area because I'm going to end up putting, I think I'll put a quote down here. You guys, <laughs> have you ever seen some of these products before, I wonder? I love to introduce the um, crafty chicks who follow my page to new things that you can try and discover. I do a lot of shopping online because I live like in a little community that we don't have any of the major stores here. So I do a lot of shopping online and I love to share how the products work and then how you can use them. If you like to discover and explore and try new things, an art journal or some paper tags are a great way to do it because they're really non-committal and they're not expensive. But look at that. I just feel like that that's like scrumptious texture and color right there. I'm gonna dry these and we're gonna create some pretty tags with these. So we used acrylic paints on this middle one. We used a Stabilo pencil, which is a little crayon. Stabilo pencil. And you can buy them in sets like this and they come with all different colors. So that's the Stabilo pencil is on the, the purple one. And then the other one that I used, and they're just different brands, different products that you can try is called Derwent's ink tense pencils and they're like a watercolor pencil except when they dry they dry permanent which is lovely so we've got three different ways of adding color to these tags let's embellish them and have some fun with them um it would penny it could work she's asking will joint compound not work on canvas it could i'm just telling you it's going to be really heavy um it's going to be really heavy and i would if it, i haven't used it before i've used um like, what do you call it? I've used the spackling compounds and I have other texture mediums that I've used that are dry powders that you add water to to create that thickness, like salt wash medium. So I've used other things, but the, the thicker it is, the heavier it's going to be. And we don't know when they dry, you won't know until you try, when it dries, how much is it gonna crack, okay? If you want it to crack, I, I use clay a lot, paper clay, because I like the way it cracks when it dries and it gives an old, very old distressed look. So just try it and try it on cardboard. Use joint compound on a piece of cardboard box and let it sit and then play with your different colors to see how they work with the joint compound. I don't know how it would work with the colors as well. Um, you may need to put a primer on it before it will accept color because this, the colors might just soak into the joint compound. I'm not sure I, because I haven't used it before, but I say go for it. Try it. <laughs> Barbara says, so yummy. Absolutely beautiful. Connie says, I'm glad you like it. Good morning, Miss Don Riley. Mm. Debbie says, I'm getting on Amazon after this to get pencils. Go to my Amazon store because I gave you some suggestions of different art supplies that you might like that and they're all ones that I've tried I don't suggest anything that I haven't tried myself um, this one is almost dry but I'm gonna hit these with a little bit of air I better hold them down because they are paper we're gonna hit these with some air and get them really dried up and then we're gonna have some fun embellishing them and making them pretty okay I just love the coloring on this one you guys isn't that so pretty it's like dreamy to me. This one is really interesting because the brown soaked into the like tan tag in a really funky way. And it's streaky and I like that one for that reason. And then this one, I actually could move. I feel like I need to move this purple color just a little bit more in this corner. Maybe I need a little more purple. Maybe I just want more color. I know, I know I'm trying to dry, but listen, I'm feeling like this needs just a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with my same thing. You can grab, I'm gonna grab my paintbrush. I'm gonna add the color to the paintbrush so I can get more of it. There we go. They're extremely, um, these are extremely pigmented as are the ink tense pencils. That's why they're called tense. They're very, very pigmented. A little bit more to this corner here. Before we dry them, I just want to add a little more purple because I'm really loving how the purple is working with the brown and it's working with the, the stencil. I want more purple in the middle of the stencil. 
Oh, I love to play and discover, and I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing. That's what I want more than anything, for you to feel really, like, <laughs> it's very liberating. I want you to feel really free to just use your supplies and play with them. And if you can find inexpensive ways to do it, you won't feel so, like, bummed out if something doesn't work the way you want to. I'm going to show you in a few minutes how in my one of my journals, I added some texture to that, too because you can do it in one of your journals. You can do it in a junk journal or a regular art journal. So many options. All right, these two are dry. This one's still a little damp, but I think in the time that it takes me to embellish these two, this one will be dry. So I'm gonna put that aside. Let me check on my time here. Yeah, we've got 15 minutes. We're gonna do a little embellishing now. It's just a little bit damp. The tag is a little bit damp because of course it's taking on water but it's dry enough so that I can start embellishing. And what I thought I would do, I told you, I grabbed some little like embellishments that we can use. Oh, this one was supposed to go on here. The butterflies are gonna go on there, I think. This ended up being more uh, like bluish green than I expected it to be. This one here, but I intended to use these on here. And the color I feel like isn't totally matching. So I'm gonna look, I have my little embellishment, <laughs> my little embellishment folders here. I'm gonna see if I can find a different set of florals that will match better. Cause now my green is a little bit off, I think. Hmm. <laughs> so I buy my, oh, this is really pretty and it has less of the greenery. So let's, I buy embellishments. You know, you can buy embellishments so this is a set of embellishments. I got them again on, on Amazon. And I take the tag from it so I can show you what it looks like and what brand it is and all that jazz. And then I put it in my little folder. And what's nice about the folders, they're clear. They snap closed. And then I put all of these in a bin, all of my little folders in a bin, so that when I want to look through them and find different embellishments, I can. So this one, I really like this little window, actually. But if I do the window, I'm not gonna have room for the butterfly, I don't think. So let's put the butterfly away and just use the window. And we gotta, I'm gonna glue this on here and then add a phrase to this one. It has no phrase. This one has the phrase. And it says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. What really cute phrase. But it to me, it, it's not dimensional enough. I've added the texture medium with the stencil. I'm gonna add some little sticker phrases on where, where we don't have any words, but I'm feeling like I need a little more texture. So I'm gonna dig into my little bags. I'm gonna find some burlap. This is where I put my little scraps of burlap. So let's grab a little bit of burlap, a little chunk here, because I think burlap goes great underneath some of these. And I'm just now, I'm just playing you guys to see, oh, I like the brown on brown with the burlap. Let me get some scissors. I'm gonna cut a little chunk of this out. I don't need a big piece. I'm gonna put it in the background, really. Just kind of hanging out behind this to add a little more texture. And some lace would be lovely. If I could find some lace, which I do have some. Hold on, girls. Let me grab the lace. I have a whole spool of lace that, oh, I have many <laughs> spools of lace. And, you know, a lot of times the lace comes in white. So what I'm gonna do is grab a just ink pad and we're just gonna distress it a little bit because I don't want it so blazing white. I just want a little chunk of it and I don't want the edges to look so perfect. So I'm gonna cut them kind of wonky. I don't want perfect. I want it to look kind of wonky. And then I, bright white would just be too much on underneath here. So I'm gonna grab my distress pad or my ink pad and I'm just going to distress it a little bit make it kind of brown and so I'm going to add the color to it and then the color will come out pretty light on the lace but if I want it to look super distressed and like stained in like darker in other areas I'm just going to dip it right into the ink pad so I get some areas that are a little bit darker I know that's hard for you to see but trust me when I tell you little sponge applicator will get the color on there and then if you want it to be a little darker in some areas just dip it right into your ink pad so it looks like just 
naturally mucked up, more organic. So we're gonna put a little bit of lace behind part of this. We're gonna put a little bit of burlap behind the other part to get this to pop up a little bit. I'm gonna use, I do have some little foam, these little foam double-sided stickers that help things to pop off the page. And I cut them all the time because I don't need a really big one. They come in one inch squares and I don't need them that big. So I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna put it on the back of this so that it pops off the page a little bit. So they're double-sided foam stickers basically. And they, you put them on the back of something that you want to pop off the page. So I've got the one side stuck. I'm gonna glue these two down with some glue. I'm gonna glue down my burlap. I just want it sticking out from behind to add some texture behind this guy. So I haven't unstuck the other part of that yet. I wanna see, I wanna adjust my other textures to make sure they stick out the way I want them to before I stick the other stuff down. So there and there. This um, glue that I'm using, it dries clear. And the two things that I'm gluing down, both of them, have holes in them. So the glue, you just need the glue to adhere to the fabric of the burlap and the fabric of the lace. So I push it down and work that glue in to the lace into the burlap so that it sticks down. And then this will help it to stick down even further. So now that those are in place, I can take off the double, you know, the other side of that sticker to make this part sticky. So now I have these little foam tabs that's gonna help this pop off this. And I think I'm gonna add a whole lot more glue here underneath to my lace because I really wanna make sure that doesn't move on me. And actually you guys, you can use your matte gel medium. This is a great product for gluing down textural elements to your projects, things like your burlap and your lace that glue will hold it down really, really well. So that's another option for you. You can use this medium as a glue for things that are thick and textured like burlap, lace, chipboard, things like that. Okay, I'm rushing it a little bit. I should technically wait for that to dry. I think I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I stick that on there. We'll move over to this, this one here. Same thing, we're gonna add some texture to it. And then I'm gonna show you how that the stencil with the texture medium, how it like pops off in the background. And I don't know what you guys think. Like, do you, I love the layering process because I. it's like you get to see this little piece of art come together in layers. And to me, that is really satisfying and very relaxing and joyful. So I wonder if you like the layers as well. Do you like layering things? You guys, we're at 64 viewers. That is awesome sauce. I'm gonna add another name to the prize basket while you're answering that question. Cheryl says, these are cute tags. Yay. Please show the glue. Janet, this is in my Amazon store. Art glitter dries clear. It's a, um, it is permanent, water-based, non-toxic, and it dries acid-free. So great for paper projects. Lois, if you go into my Amazon store, you're gonna see almost all of this stuff. So go to amazon.com slash shop slash the comfy nest or just type in the Google search the comfy nest Amazon store and it will pop up and you can get in there. You want to go to the tab that is craft supplies you'll love. That's the name of the tab. Deb loves the layered look. I do too, Deb. Okay, next name going into the prize basket is Rebecca Main. Oh, she says, hello, I'm new. Miss Rebecca, I, I explained earlier Welcome, welcome, and good morning, Miss, Miss Rebecca. Tell us where you're from. Um, I explained earlier how the prize basket worked. Your name is going in the prize basket. Yay, congratulations. You're gonna wanna join my free craft community called the Crafty Chicks Club, because that's where I announce the giveaway winners. So make sure you get in there, because once you're in there, I can tag you to let you know that you won. You can send me your address, and I will send happy mail if you win. So welcome, Miss Rebecca. Uh, check out my Amazon shop, yes, Wendy do that. <laughs> Kathy says yes to layers. Who doesn't say yes to layers? Love texture. It's so fun to play and to layer. I agree. I agree. Hello, Miss Nikki Palmer in the UK. Hello, hello. Penny layers her stencils all the time. Connie's going to try these tags. You can get these tags, these specific tags. I sell them in my shop 
at the Comfy Nest with Grace. You can get a bundle of them. ComfyNestWithGrace.com is the shop. Okay, let's add some textural stuff behind here. Um, we it's it's kind of like a coral color and then we have some green it's like a little window with this floral and the florals have some sparkle to them and i'm going to put it on top of here okay and the reason i picked the window is because the greens that i chose for my background don't really match the they're not the same green that was on the other on the floral so let's see if i can find some other textural element to put behind here um, I mean, I could stick with the lace that I have. I create these little paper rolls with paper. And I use my sewing machine to create these little paper rolls. Maybe one of these, because this one has some matching colors in it, it would be cool. Yeah, I'm going to cut this one in half and use this. I, cre I create these with bits of fabric and bits of paper and my sewing machine and I stick them in here like every once in a while you know I want to play but I don't really want to do a particular project so I'll just create more like um, embellishments <laughs> playing with my sewing machine just to have them in a, a, a folder like this so I can pull them out and use on projects every once in a while so it's going to add more depth and interest and character so I'm going to put this one behind here like this and then I'm going to leave room for a little phrase in here. This one might be still just a little bit too big. Let's drop off a little, another little section there. And we'll put this back here. And then how about a piece of lace? This one I could do white lace just fine. It would work just fine in the back here. Like this because it just adds something different visually to look at. And your eye, it catches your eye because it pops off a little bit. So it catches your eye and it causes you to look for a little bit longer than you might have otherwise. And then, like I said, I wanna leave room for a little phrase down here. So I'm gonna show you how you can use, you can use your Liquitex Medium. It's not gonna dry that quick, but it's an easy, easy product to use for gluing things down. So the same medium that I used, I grab a little bit of it and it's great for textural elements for gluing them down. So my lace that is really hard to get glue to stick in something that's so fine and it has all those little crevices and this stuff is like just it's thick and it's going to go in between all those little crevices and when it dries it's just going to stay there it's not going to move. I don't need it for the paper but since I already have it out and I'm using it for my glue I'm going to stick some of that on the back there. And it will also stick my tag, my little pretty window. You just, you just use it just like a glue. It's really fun to work with a palette knife on this stuff. Craft Therapy Club member, or um, excuse me, my Craft Crate members, those of you who are in my membership, you may be getting a texture medium, oink, oink, this month in your craft box that's being mailed to you. I'm super excited. You may be getting some texture medium. Okay. So see, it just holds everything down really nice. Really interesting back there. We'll add a phrase to this one. This one is probably dry enough where it's ready to pop this one down on top of it. So it's just about playing with your stuff and having fun and pulling out. You know, we buy all these, this stash of stuff. We buy it all and then we're not sure <laughs> what to do with it. I'm not going to get to this tag. This was the one that I wanted to do the butterfly with. Let's add some... Let's add some jute rope. I got my little jute rope thing here, my little dispenser that I made. Um, I shared this video. Somebody asked for this video when I made these um, jars for holding your jute rope. Um, I did a live for that recently and I shared it. Somebody asked me the other day, I think in the Crafty Chicks Club and I shared that in there. I'm just gonna add some jute rope because it, it matches with the burlap. It's very basic, it's inexpensive, it's easy to get and it matches with these tags for creating just these pretty little things. Now, I wanted to add a phrase to this one, some kind of phrase. And I'm looking and looking because my words were here a second ago. You guys, I like this new, the craft around the clock, generally in the craft around the clock group, we have um, 
30 minute time slots and we're trying this 45 minute time slot and I love it. I, it's just so much less pressure to move quickly and I can explain more, I feel like. I feel like I can explain more. This one says, this little word, again, these are my Amazon store. These, It's a Tim Holtz product and it's, it's a whole book of stickers. And this one says, have an open heart. And so I like that it just add it to the bottom of the tag as a little phrase to add on. These, you guys, these tags are really relaxing to make and they're great stash busters. And then if you have a bunch of them made, you know, you could make Christmas themed ones and use them as Christmas gift tags for your Christmas um, presents or baskets that you drop off to friends and family. But, but you can have so much fun because of the adding the color and the texture. So let's look, you can see that texture that I added in the background and it's different than just a regular stenciled um, project because it's raised up and it gives some 3D dimension to it. And it just makes it really visually interesting. Can you see this one, how? And you get that color to sit inside that stenciled texture. Oh, it's just good. I love it. Texture to me is just yummy. I don't know how else to describe it. it. It just makes me happy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that part of it and how to bring it all together. I'm like the queen of trying different products together and um, seeing how they work together. And then I love to report back to you guys, especially those um, in my paid membership groups get this stuff on a regular basis. So think about joining one of the paid memberships. It's, um, you can find them all at thecomfyneswithgrace.com. If you want the tags, you'll find them there. Go to my Amazon store. The link is always in the announcements in the free Crafty Chicks Club. So you have so much opportunity here, you guys, to learn and grow and to discover more ways to use your craft supplies. Um, the Craft Around the Clock group is another great resource for you if you want to join that. Thank Diana said, I love how you explain things and you show new techniques. Diana, that's my whole goal. I want, I want you guys to be like craft explorers. <laughs> Explore and discover and have fun with your stuff. You're welcome, Miss Penny. Um, do the phrases come off the tags at all? Mine have not. Mine have not, Janet. Nope, I use them in my, in my projects all the time and they don't come off, no. You're welcome, Miss Penny. You have a beautiful day. Debbie already has the stickers. Whoop, whoop, she already grabbed it. Just exploring and discovering, I love it. Yvonne says adorable. I'm so glad you guys love them. Thank you, Donna, for saying that. No, Debbie, we created the embossing. So go back and watch the replay. Debbie's asking, did the tags already have the embossing? No, they are plain tags that I sell on my website. And I created that texture with texture medium um, at the beginning of the um, live demo. So go back when it's done. You can. I'm going to hit the share finish button and then you can go back and watch how I created that so that you can do the same. Um, I see a question. Can you hold them up again? I sure can. Who asked that? Kathy. You're welcome, Elizabeth. So there's one of them. And I'm going to show you that texture really close. So there's one of them. And here's the other one. And this one's still a little wet. I, I used a lot of water with that Inktense pencil to get that texture to sit up in there. And I love the way that turned out because you can see that texture just so beautifully. All right, you guys, my time is up for Craft Around the Clock. You guys have a, I could do this for hours and I'd love to. <laughs> um, you join me next time. Make sure that you get on the, um, change your notifications so you get live alerts. You can join my, my live alert text system. Um, you guys have a beautiful, blessed day and we'll catch up with you later. Tonight is late night crafting, 9 p.m. So I'll meet you back here for another project. Blessings. Goodbye.